Hello and welcome to the Synopsys Optical Solutions Group training series. This is the third of three videos demonstrating the use of the tolerance capability in light tools. In this video, we will demonstrate the procedure for performing a tolerance Monte Carlo analysis. In this example, we have an LED chip inside a cup filled with a phosphor material. The phosphor material has a slight dome on top of the LED package. The shape of the dome is controlled by a series of parametric expressions and pickups. Tolerances have already been declared on both the dome thickness as well as the mean free path of the phosphor particles in the material. In addition, we have defined the average intensity CCT as our performance measure with a nominal value of 3500 Kelvin. We have also already performed a quadratic fit sensitivity analysis. Monte Carlo analysis is used to predict manufactured system performance of a defined set of performance measures for a given set of tolerance limits and distribution shapes. The Monte Carlo controls are found under Tolerancing, Monte Carlo Results. As with the tolerance sensitivity calculation, there are two methods. The first is the direct Monte Carlo analysis. This is analogous to the individual sensitivities calculation. With the direct method, light tools will randomly perturb the system in accordance to defined tolerance distributions. The performance measures are then evaluated, running a simulation if necessary, and the results recorded. This procedure is then repeated for the indicated number of Monte Carlo trials. It is not required that you run an individual tolerance sensitivity calculation prior to running the direct Monte Carlo analysis. Here we will keep the default of 100 trials and just click Run Monte Carlo Trials to start the analysis. You can see by the progress bar that this will take several minutes to run. We will skip forward to the result. Now that the analysis is complete, we can see a list of the statistics for each performance measure. In this case, just one was defined. This list includes the mean, standard deviation, minimum and maximum values, as well as information on the number of passing and failing trials. Selecting the individual performance measure subnode, we can see a chart of the trials. The chart shows the performance measure value along the horizontal axis and the number of trials along the vertical axis. The green bars show a histogram indicating the number of trials that fall in that performance measure bin. The red line indicates a best fit Gaussian curve which may or may not be useful depending on the shape of the data. The blue curve is a cumulative distribution curve. This is a normalized curve that indicates the probability of a manufactured system having the indicated performance or less. The scale of the blue curve goes from 0 to 1 and is not indicated on the chart. As an example, there is roughly a 60% chance of a system having a CCT of 3510 Kelvin or below. Lastly, the yellow and cyan lines indicate the upper and lower performance limits defined by the user. Controls for the number of bins and the start and end values for the chart can be found at the top of the tab under histogram controls. The histogram data tab gives a data table for the histogram data and the cumulative distribution data. The trial data tab shows each trial tried during the analysis run including a color-coded pass-fail results column. Right clicking on the row allows you to apply the tolerance values for that trial to the model as perturbations so that you can easily do further analysis. To return to the original design, simply right click on the design value row and select apply tolerance values. Finally, the process capability tab will display CP and CPK numbers for the system 
provided that you have defined both upper and lower limits on the performance measures. The quadratic fit Monte Carlo analysis is similar in its output but differs in the evaluation method. The quadratic fit method makes use of the quadratic function obtained during the quadratic fit sensitivity calculation to determine the system's performance. Rather than perturbing the light tools model and doing an evaluation with each trial, the tolerance perturbation values are determined and the quadratic function evaluated to determine the predicted performance. This can be done much faster than the direct Monte Carlo evaluation since it doesn't require model changes nor simulations for each trial. It does, however, require that the quadratic fit sensitivity curve be an accurate approximation of the actual sensitivity profile of the system. This method requires that a quadratic fit sensitivity calculation be done prior. If such a calculation has not been done, then one will be run automatically at the start of the Monte Carlo analysis using the current settings. Here we will set the number of Monte Carlo trials to 10,000 and click Run Monte Carlo Trials. As you can see, the results are available nearly instantaneously. The resulting histogram shows a much less noisy result due to the higher numbers of samples and the smoothing effect of the underlying quadratic fit function. Both types of Monte Carlo results are dependent on the distribution function defined for the tolerances. Here, we will go back to the Tolerancing Input screen to change the form of the Tolerance Distribution function. We will select a Gaussian distribution for both of our tolerances and keep the default settings. This creates a situation where the tolerance parameter is more likely to be closer to the nominal value than it would with the uniform distribution. We would anticipate that the system would result in a higher probability that the manufactured performance be closer to the nominal value. Returning to the quadratic fit Monte Carlo, we can rerun the analysis and look at the resulting histogram. Here we see the expected result of a tighter performance distribution. Note that we did not need to rerun the sensitivity calculation since the tolerance sensitivities did not change, only the distribution of the tolerance parameters. In this training video, we have demonstrated the procedure for performing a Monte Carlo tolerance analysis to determine expected manufactured yield. If you have any questions or need technical support, please contact us at lighttools underscore support at synopsis.com. Thank you for watching. <laughs>